What's up guys? So I'm back. Medina Motors, it's Father's Day. My parents aren't home yet and I have lots to do. The Jetta has a little bit of issues, got to do the oil change, wipers not working that I've been trying to fix for the longest time. The antenna as well is broken from when I did the whole Jetta stuff. I still never fixed it. So I gotta get that done. Uh, the wiper motor assembly, because it's all messed up, is right here. Take it off one of my parts cars and the Honda, all it really has left now is finish up that downpipe that I was supposed to do so long ago. Um, put the axles in, um, fill the transmission with uh, oil, find out where this connector goes. I believe it's something for the crank. And uh, yeah, once I do the wastegate pipe as well, I gotta fab that up. I got the little pipe here I got from Canadian Tire. Um, it's just fuel lines. Afterwards, it'll be fuel lines, put the new map sensor on. I might do a battery relocate, but for now I'm just gonna leave the battery there. Uh, I'm gonna see what I can do with the stock pump and the stock fuel filter, all of that. Um, so there might be no fuel lines I have to do right now, but I'm just gonna get it out, get it running, and then we'll see from there. Uh, most likely battery relocated to the trunk and I will be getting um, my other AN lines put in. But yeah, I just wanna get this thing started, get this thing moving under its own power first and then we'll see how that goes also got the Honda data i just gotta do the boost by gear and then i can finally put that thing in the car so today's gonna be a big big day and uh, i'm excited also the oil pan if you notice has been leaking um the bolt on the bottom is stripped at least when i tighten it it strips so i'm just gonna take it out put some teflon tape on it see if that will work or the plumber's tape been so busy with work and these past couple days, I am trying to get much done. Also, I want to set up the solar panels on the garage, get some power off that just for fun. That's just literally for shits and giggles. My main focus now is just get this car running. So we're just gonna do the, the maintenance on the Jetta real quick, and then we can come and we take this car, and get this thing ready to rock. Also got to seal up and mount everything on the turbo properly. It's only got one bolt for now, but I mean, it's holding, so. Whatever, still need to put the seal on it. Got no gasket, some silicone, some stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. Gotta run some gauges, wide band. I also gotta wide the, run the wide band, wire that all up. Um, I got a whole bunch of other stuff, sensors in here, water coolant, uh, oil. Um, I got the little thing that I have to mock up as well. Uh, I don't know, it's gonna be a big day. But this one, I wanna see if I can keep the oil. Cause I literally just poured it in uh, like half a bottle a 5w40 and I, I was like you know what let me see if it leaks uh, as i was pouring it i was like let me just see if it leaks first sure enough it did um and it's clean everything i wiped the oil pan i cleaned the motor as best i can so that oil literally has no kilometers didn't even crank it nothing i just want to try to it captured like how i did with that pail and uh, reuse it once i fix the little issue in the bottom so guys, I have emptied out the oil out of here. I have to change the filter out on this. And I've been putting the oil I took out of the Honda into this one. Um, I found some other shitty ass oil for the Honda because you know what, it's a Honda. So it doesn't matter, right? And when I took out this, I actually found a piece of metal. Like, see how it's like the threads from the oil pan on the bolt. So I'm just gonna Throw on some uh, of this te Teflon or whatever. I clean off the, the whatever excess. Put the washer back on and I'm just going to put it in. See how that works. See how it holds. See if I can stop this leak or at least temporary. Um, until I feel like taking off one of these pans and putting my bung that I have for it. For the oil return. I mean, really sucks. I wanted to try to reuse it, but I guess it just, it was stripped. So, nothing I can do there. Uh, but, Yeah. It's gonna be good. It's going good. Just got a little bit more stuff to do on the Volkswagen, then I can start crushing out this Honda. So, guys, as you can see, I have two used wiper arms, and the motors that I was gonna use was gonna use for the Jetta. But as you can see, the motors, same location, they both up the same. I believe the brackets are the same as well. Yeah, but the only thing is the connection. That's what came out of the Jetta, and these are the wiper motors I have. There's a whole different connection altogether. So, uh, those are out of 2000, like the year 2000 Golfs. Ooh, look at that, Lambo. Cool. 
Uh, that was like out of the year 2000 Golfs. But the one I took out of the car is 2001. So it's a Jetta. I don't. I didn't know that made the difference. But now I took out the rain tray, did all this stuff, and I have nothing to do. So I am going to leave it off. If not, just rest it in place. I'm not even going to do that whole clipping thing back in. Uh, I'm just going to get the right socket. I think it's a 22 mil. And start taking off the headliner and everything like that. Get this antenna dealt with. I guess you got like a really shitty one. Here it is. I got the shitty one. It's like all dented up. I actually got to find my good one. But for now, at least put on this base. At least so I can have some sort of radio. Um, once that's done, I'm thinking it's Honda time. There isn't really much left to do. Maybe top off the coolant. I only put water in it when I did the thermostat stuff. So drain it. Put some coolant in. And yeah. Let me check the oil looks good. Put the cap on now. And uh, yeah, it looks like it's time to start working on this Honda. And I'm so excited. I love welding. So, yeah. So, guys, finally, my little shitty antenna is finally done. Ah, and the whole interior has to pretty much come apart for it. As you can see, all these panels. Now, this is the funnest part is just getting that lip, if you can tell, back on like a little piece of metal up there. So that's like the most interesting part of the whole headliner removal without removing the whole thing. You gotta flip that lip back under the teeth. Oh, that little loop. And yeah. Once I put that all back together, that's it. The jet is pretty much done and then it's Honda time. I used this polishing disc because I got the Jetta all put back together and parents came home because I thought that would polish and buff. No, it doesn't buff. Buff and polish are two different things, guys. I failed. I literally melted the wind though. I had, um, I literally melted the headlight. So whatever, I didn't care because these were ugly and these were yellow and I have my spare set all over there. So I was gonna put the spare set on. There should be two of them. Yeah, one there, one there. I was gonna put the spare set on the other week, or maybe a week or two ago when I did the thermostat, or whatever. I was gonna put the spare set on, but then I was like, mm, let me see if I can clean these. And I messed up. So, hey guys. So I did not get everything I wanted done today. I got pretty much all the Jetta stuff done. I uh, did not get to touch the Honda. Um, I went to go sell some parts. Actually, some people hit me up for some Volkswagen parts, so I went and sold them. And yeah, had dinner, and now I'm having a headache. So I'm just gonna hit the hay. I uh, got everything ready for all the Honda stuff, and also one day soon we're gonna make a video of putting these led lights that i got from my dad um on his truck it's real quick easy to install um and yeah i was just talking to him about that how he wants to install it the things he wants done in the garage he wants to change his door which has been here for you guys can probably see in the videos for like six months if you go back so yeah um it's been a busy little day went through a lot of stuff hopefully gonna crush out the honda soon i've just been so busy and uh i have some work inside to do with the computer so i to get that working better start editing some of those videos and i think that's what i'm gonna do instead just edit out a little bit and then hit the hay so i'll make this a cute little video and don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to the channel, to follow along the bells. We just hit 100 subs. I checked this morning. So uh, that's pretty nice to me. Thanks for all the support, guys. I really appreciate it. Like, It really makes me feel like I'm doing something right here. So yeah, I'm just going to keep trying to crush out these videos and get them cranked out to you guys soon. So that's what I'm going to do. So have a good night, guys. See you soon.